Hey everyone, this is Bridget, and today I want to talk about ascension and some of the mechanics of it, and actually learning from the idea of negative ascension so we can better understand positive ascension because all humans in this third density reality can actually ascend negatively, which is pretty freaking interesting to me. So I wanted to get into this. So first and foremost, many of us want this idea of ascension, and many of us, I guess, like think of it as um, I don't know, like crystals and meditating or something, and it and it is that, but it's the full conscious remembrance of who we are as a soul, as an infinite being, and that connection of oneness within ourselves and within humanity that then creates and expands our energy field to be able to resonate at fourth density. And so, what are these? I guess, qualifications, energetic qualifications of fourth density. First and foremost, it is positive orientation, which manifests as service to others' energy. So to actually ascend, you would, we would need to become 51%, so just over 50%, 51% positively oriented and service to others. Now, it seems like that would be easy, and if you kind of like think about it, you're like, yeah, I got that, I'm good. But in actuality, it's a little bit more challenging than that, because what we're working with is we might have these certain intentions that seem honorable or good or for the other, but really they are like subconscious uh, needs to gain more power or certain things like that. So I wanted to kind of like dig around in here and see what's going on so that we can really understand it. So let's go back and forth like we like to do as third density humans, as from the positive to the negative, and so that we can start to see the differences and see how we can positively orient. Because if we don't quite get on the positive side and there's this other pole that we have, then we just won't ascend at all, which is ideally not what we want. Because the idea of this incarnation from the Mayan perspective and from many other traditions from channeling and stuff is that we are on this 25, 26,000 year cycle of coming down as wanderers, as star seeds, and going, okay, can we come down from the higher densities? Can we come down from fifth, sixth, maybe even seventh density? And because we've come to that place of, of realization of oneness into these heightened levels of consciousness, can we come down into third density and not forget and for the most part, this is a very courageous act because if we forget in this life and we don't fully become this 51% positive and ascend, then we're in this reincarnation cycle for another 26,000 years until we get the opportunity to turn towards the positive. Now, a lot of this information is from the raw material, but it's also corroborated with the Mayan and a lot of other spiritual texts. So we're gonna put it together and take what you want, leave what you don't, but this helps me at least kind of orient. And I wanna also tie it into daily life because daily life is where ascension takes place. In every act, in every thought, in every belief, in, in who we are and how we're bringing more awareness to consciousness within our own beings and being of service or not being of service. On the negative spectrum, you can actually ascend to fourth density, with the, which is the fifth dimension. Everyone talks about the fifth dimension and stuff, but let's talk about the energetics behind the dimension. Um, is 99% negatively oriented. So you can actually ascend negatively, which is like super creepy. You have to be like really manipulative and really malicious, like 99% like very dedicated to negativity to be able to go that way. But the thing is, is there's tendency. There's tendency in us as humans programmed and turned off to be negative. And so this slight tendency toward that, most of us are not gonna get to the 99%, but a little bit of percentage here, a little bit of percentage here, maybe a little bit of drama, maybe a little bit of conspiracy, maybe a little bit of control, maybe a little bit of extra power. These things add up on the other scale of negativity, which then takes away from this positivity. And we really need to orient everything in our being towards positivity to make this harvest, is what they call it, towards ascension. So how can we do that? Well, first and foremost, it is being service to others. Now this gets pretty interesting because technically, in, if we're thinking about it in oneness perspective, you are me. So then if I'm serving myself, then I am serving you. And then that is service to others. 
and that's a, a sneaky little way of doing it, but that's still negatively oriented. So the idea is, is like, yes, you are me, um, but, but when you become consciously aware of the separation of like, okay, we are all so uniquely different, the paradox of it, then if you then are service to self and then are, are manipulating someone else, then it is negatively oriented. So, but, so what we're wanting to do is serve ourselves for the greater benefit of the other and also serve the other in that. Now, what are some of the other ways that this can look? Positivity. The biggest discerning factor between someone that goes negatively oriented in a sense and someone that isn't is this, is the heart. That is the discerning factor. Is the heart chakra turned on? Is, is this person moving from the heart. If you're moving from the heart, you're automatically oriented towards positivity and the service of others and the good of all, right? It is the discerning, distinguishing, like integrity meter of the universe um, in, in, in manifest through this being, like through our individual uh, microcosmic experience of this human vessel reality. So that means that the heart is of utmost importance. Now the heart can be turned on, the heart, we can be moving in a heart-centered way, but we can also be motivated by these lower chakras, by the lower desires that can create manipulation even with the heart chakra on. So some people, if you don't feel any heart from someone, that's, that's like pretty scary. Like most people where we're working with is like the hearts, you know, it's, it's on, it's moving, but then there's this other stuff and other distortions in the lower chakras. So that's, a, that's something that we can work with because at least the heart is on to indicate where there is distortion. So it's like a balancing chakra. It's like a balancing mechanism to see what's going on down there in the subconscious and and to know that we can have these intentional positive actions but if it's but if it's distorted from the lower perspective it's still not fully positive so the idea is is becoming fully uh, aware of all of us acknowledging all parts of ourselves and I just did a talk at a disclosure conference and I, I go into this more in depth of how to do that so that'll be coming out here in the next month or so that video uh, speech um, but the idea is really looking at our darkness and you can look at watch my shadow video for that really integrating those dark pieces of ourselves and of course, opening up to our hearts and opening up to love and letting love in and really asking the question like, you know, what would love do in this moment? Like, that's a great question. What would love do in this moment? And also like, what is love? Like to sit and contemplate that idea and like, what is forgiveness? And this has been a big one for me lately. And forgiveness in that space dissolves karma in many ways. And so in forgiveness, in love, that creates oneness because it's the acceptance of, the, of, of ourselves and it's the acceptance of the other. So in the daily life, how can we integrate this? Because these seem like bigger kind of like concepts or something, but it's actually in every moment that we can play and, and, and be in tune and be present to these energies. So when you come into contact with someone, uh, let's go with the, the Instagram example. It's very good. Like social media is a great reflection mirror to see where we're oriented. So we look at like someone's picture that comes up and we might feel like envy, you know, like we might feel that separation energy or we might feel complete love, you know, so even just the indicating system of how you react to the other, to the outside, is, is a good indicating of like what's really going on inside. You might always want the best for people and see the best in them, and that's amazing. You're on like a great track. And then to be careful also at the same time of not getting like suckered into like, you know, these conspiracy dramas of, of like what's going on and certain programs and stuff. And that's a way to siphon energy and pull us away from the positive. So the other piece that I wanted to talk about is that positivity and this higher dimensional aspect, what the fourth density looks like, always grants free will. It always, see the thing, the way that I like to look at this is that it trusts, beyond trust, it knows that the other will ultimately end up in the best position 
for the betterment of all, you know, eventually, that it grants it the permission to experience itself. So it's like the ultimate, you know, it's like if a parent is like, yeah, I'm not going to hold your hand, little kid. I know that you can walk on your own and granting that freedom to cultivate strength, to cultivate the own self-empowerment of the other to fully come into fruition. So that's, that's what free will does. Now the opposite of free will is control. In dominion, right, over the other. And, and we can see if someone's negatively oriented or if we in ourselves we're negatively oriented through the idea of hierarchy, through the idea of, pop, of popularity. I was going to say power, but it, it's manifest in many ways in popularity in today's uh, you know, society. Do you want to become popular, which is power, which then creates hierarchy, which then becomes creates people underneath or people that are dependent on the other rather than completely independent. And independence stems from this free will concept. So the ultimate act of trust and knowing is free will. And if we're truly in that space, we won't need to control. So that's a big one. I, I've, I've felt that in my own life, it, like the need to control, um, you know, maybe other people or like maybe they can't do it right or certain things like that. And so I have to look at that because that control is a negative orientation. Positivity always grants choice. So as you're, as you're thinking in your own head, as you're, as you're witnessing your own thoughts, if you have beliefs that have no choice, I have no choice but have to do this thing. I have no choice but to be this certain way. That's a negative belief system. And that negative belief system is a tick on the negative side. So we got to orient our belief systems, every part of our being, which then reflects out into action, towards positive choice. Towards always, You always have a choice. You always have the freedom to choose, right? You're always love. You can always be able to forgive yourself and the other. These kinds of energies are what the fourth density is made of. So when we start acting in this way and we start vibrating in this certain field, octave, then we automatically go to that level. And now in this transition right now, there's moments where we might perceive fourth density. You might do DMT or something like that and perceive even higher densities. That's why people love these psychedelics so that they can open to the spectrum of these higher densities. So the idea is, is you get those downloads in whatever form it is, meditation, that moment of love, helping the granny across the street, you know, whatever it may be to, to get a glimpse to like, you know, like taste that higher frequency so that then we can start to integrate it in our everyday lives. And slowly but surely, um, it is, we, we go up slightly, you know, in every, in every movement. So you can have people in third density, right? Humans right now. And people are like, could be like very low on the spectrum. You might have people more on the end of like second density and more like negative or more service to self. And the idea is, is that some people also can be oscillating at this higher frequency where they may even like pop into fourth density at times, which I've felt in different situations and settings of like complete and pure love and bliss within myself or with other people, certain places really help me get into those higher frequencies. And so it's all about raising your vibration, but in raising your vibration, it's really looking at the, uh, your own mechanistic orientation um, to what your frequency is and where you're resonating. So I find this pretty interesting and it's quite, and also I wanted to say on the negative uh, ascension, that if someone does negatively ascend, they can't go past fourth density negative. You can't go any higher because eventually you're going to come in. You have to return to this place of oneness to go quasi physical and non physical. So it's important to note that. So if you're like, oh yeah, let's try that negative thing. That might be easier. Yeah, you're not going to get too far with that. Um, so the key is to remember. The key is to remember who we are, our infinity, our infinite selves. To remember. Uh, our, ourselves through all time and to tap in. That's why the extraterrestrial conversation is nice and significant is to tap into our star counterparts 
out there in the cosmos that we've incarnated as before as to remember what those densities are like so that we can integrate them into our lives here. That's what we're meant to do. That was the idea so that we didn't get trapped uh, for the next 26,000 years. So there's pressure, you know, like that's kind of intense. But then at the same time, it's not. It's like, if we think about it, it's like honestly like moment by moment, one step at a time, becoming a better person, one step at a time. If that's the only intention that you have is to love more, is to serve more, is to understand yourself and the other more, to grant freedom and free will, you're on a great trajectory and every day that'll grow. And this positive orientation has momentum to it. So you'll start going in that direction. And the idea is you'll have the, the, uh, the moments where you get to decide if you want to go into the other energies. And so those are moments to stand up for your own free will and say, no, I don't want to play at those kinds of energies. I don't want to play in those energies of drama. And so we get those choices in everyday life, whether it's like hanging out with those certain people that are kind of negative or watching that YouTube video that's not so bright. You know, those kinds of moments, like clicking on those buttons, start to move you in a certain direction. And one time it's okay. And the thing is, is remember, if you're working on your lower chakras and working out your distortions, you might need to play some things out. You might need to look at some negative things so that you can address the sub and unconscious she is going on. Because sometimes you might be like, oh, I just want to be love and light. But that's not actually authentic to what, what some of the other energies that are real for you that are going on. So it's really becoming real, really real with yourself so that you can bring everything to awareness, bring everything to consciousness, love it, forgive it, and fly free. So I hope that this has been helpful to understand a bit more about the ascension process and give you a bit more uh, structure and direction as to how to move about this in your everyday life. Comment below to let me know how you do it, how you stay positively oriented and moving in the positive direction in daily life. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and be sure to click the bell button so that you get notifications when new videos come up and like and share with your friends. Check me out on Instagram for daily updates and I'll be back every Sunday as dedicated as I can be uh, with new videos. So be sure to check me out then. Thanks so much for being a part of this journey. It's freaking interesting, right? It's epic. You got this, I got this, you know, sometimes you can fall off, sometimes you can be on, but ultimately we're moving in this positive direction. That's the way that our earth and the whole consciousness, this whole game play wants to go in that direction. So just remember that. All right. Love you so much.